Today we're going to be showing you the best trip set in defense in Madden 24, and it's got a dollar three two six. This is going to be found in the multiple defensive playbook. If you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, join the Patreon. Link is going to be in the description. We actually just dropped a massive, massive revamp the entire dollar three two defensive ebook with. I think the best way to be playing defense in Madden 24 and maybe the best way to be playing Madden defense in general. I put a lot of effort and energy into the dollar defensive ebook. I feel like it is the best ebook that I've ever released, whether it be offensive or defensive, because we really go in depth of teaching you how to fish, so to speak, in Madden, how to really create and craft some of the best defenses in the game. So if you want to check that out, the link's going to be in the description. Patreon members get access to all of our ebooks and updates. And today we're taking a look at my favorite way to play trips tied in trips tied in is one of the best offenses every single year in fact i would argue that if you can defend bunch trips tied in tight and any kind of five wide those are the blueprints for really defense every single year so uh, we're gonna be showing you how i like to kind of base out of trips tied in trips tied in is one of the most difficult offenses to defend because it is the one offense at least the number one offense in my opinion that causes the most significant alignment issues which we're going to show you in this video the way we're going to get around that is we're actually going to turn our auto flip defense play call off and we're going to turn our auto alignment to man align we're going to put option defense on conservative and last but not least we're going to put our zone coverage on match from there we're going to be coming out in the cover to press and um, that's pretty much it now what we're going to do here is we are so you see here how we have the auto flip defense play call off and then we have the man alignment so in standard alignment this slot corner would be on the right hand side of the screen but now he's over on the trip side in a vertical hook so what we're going to do in really simple adjustments, honestly, here, we are just going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to press our coverage. And then from there, we're going to outside third, the outside cornerback on the trip side of the field. We're going to middle third or inside third, the trip side safety. We're going to curl flat the slot corner that was already on the trip side of the field. And then last but not least, we're going to vertical hook and you really need to blitz your user. That's one of the most important things, uh, most important piece of advice that I could give you for this defense. Now from there on the right hand side of the screen, it's honestly up to you. I really like this cover to shell. And the reason why I like this cover to shell is because the way the game plays this year, a tight end corner route is not really going to kill you. If you want to put a third on the field, you can put the free safety sub package in, which I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. The last tip that I have for you for this defense is to go ahead and back off that trip side corner. And the reason we want to do that is because in, even if they run a play action pass, then that third sometimes will get glitched, especially in game, not as much in practice mode, but in game, it's a little bit more um, common. And just by backing him off, it's going to keep that from happening. Now, what you're going to see right here is one of the most popular throws that someone wants to make whenever they're in trips tight end is they're going to try to make this little slot streak throw. What you're going to see is he's going to get rerouted, and then he's actually going to get matched by this vertical hook. It's why it's the whole purpose of running this defense on a man alignment, because you're going to be able to really um, do some damage against the trips side of the field. This curl flat is going to reroute that number two receiver, and then that vertical hook is going to match that number two receiver if he runs a vertical vertical route. Let's talk about a couple of other route combos that are pretty pretty common. Um, this is also why you want to take the mid read off the field. Let me show you the exact same route combo that I just ran, but I'm going to leave the mid read on the field. And what you're going to see is that vertical hook will not match him. And there is a little window in which we might be able to fit that in. Sean Taylor actually played really, really well. Um, if you wanted to optimize your abilities for this defense, one of the things that I would recommend doing is putting a deep out zone knockout on that outside third defender, putting a deep end zone knockout on that free safety on that side of the field and then putting a deep out zone or deep end zone on this safety here on the right hand side of the screen again it is really important to take your mid read off the field otherwise your vertical hook will not match properly now understand that your vertical hook is a match defender so let's say that they run this as a very popular concept and they run something like this, you have to, as a user, understand your responsibility is going to be to midpoint that vertical crosser and then work back to that running back uh, little Texas pattern over the middle of the field. Another one of the most popular concepts, I'm actually going to go grab it, is the Bills Y post. And while we're doing that, I'm actually going to also showcase the free safety sub package. Uh, so with the free safety sub package, what you can do is it just allows you to put your safeties in uh, outside thirds. The reason this might be helpful is if they're running a lot of 
tight end corner routes or deep crossers uh, to the tight end side specifically. So what you're going to see with the free safety sub package on the defense here is we're going to go ahead and set up our adjustments. But now if you look to the top right of your screen, you're going to see that instead of a deep half, we can actually hot route that safety to a uh, outside third. Again, now that outside third, the one weakness of the outside third is you can kind of throw and it can kind of be had in the seam. So what you're going to see right here on this Y post play, you see how that wide and post kind of split those zones. That's also why deep end zone KO is so, so important. One final tip that I have for you in terms of defending trips tight end consistently year over year the more you can bring these safeties into the box, the more helpful it is. Um, it's just going to help them kind of get in better position to play more stuff. So that's something just to remember. Again, I really, really want to stress uh, to back off that left-hand side outside third defender. And we'll show you what will happen here. So let's say, for example, we run a route combo like this. All you're going to do with your user is you're just going to user this tight end post. And then what you'll see is this corner route, because we have deep out zone KO, a lot of times he can roll off of that streak and actually come back and defend the corner route. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want more videos like this and you want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon. That's where you get access to all of my full offensive and defensive eBooks. Everything over there is designed to help you become a better Madden player. So if you want to take your game to the next level, head down to the description and go get signed up for the Patreon for just $10. You can get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive eBooks. So head down to the description and go click the link down below.